Hey guys, this is the Savior, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Paranoid Android version 4.3 on your Xperia U. So let's begin. First of all, you need to have Flash Tools on your PC. So download it and open the version that is supported at a 64 bit or 32 bit. Doesn't really matter much, but still for precaution basis. Now click on the flash icon and select fast boot mode then hit ok and it will give you fast boot toolbox now we need a kernel that we can flash on our device so for that we need to go to the folder where the custom ROM is situated and here it is PA contact so here we extract the boot IMG from the zip file and now this is the kernel so we need to prepare our phone for the flash so for that you need to plug in your phone in fast boot mode to do that hold the volume up key while you plug in the usb cable so hold the volume up key and plug in the usb cable you will get the left blue led glowing on your device that means you are in fast boot mode now so we go to toolbox and select our kernel to flash it will ask you to choose the kernel file that is boot.img or kernel.sin file so we have the boot.img file so we go to the location and flash it it will be very quick and after it's done it will show you a message flash operation complete it will be just a matter of few seconds and after that the flash is done so we can disconnect the usb cable now give it a few seconds and run your device so while you power on you have repeatedly pressed the volume up key when you see the Sony logo. This will land the phone up into custom recovery mode. I guess this one has clockwork mode. So yep, here are we in the clockwork mode recovery. Now, I don't think that it's much visible to you. So what do we do? We go to advance. We go to wipe type class option and we select it. Now to ask for permission, just confirm it by selecting yes and the cache will be wiped. Now we go to wipe the tip flash factory reset, again select the yes and it will be a quick one, it will just wipe the data and do a factory reset on your device. And after that's done, we have to wipe the cache partition. So we go and wipe the cache partition, again we select yes to confirm the wipe and after it's done we go to the install zip option, we select a file from SD card and now we have to select the custom ROM that we have. So select that custom ROM, I don't think it's visible due to the brightness but yeah you have to select the custom ROM not the gapps. So again it will ask for permission, select yes and let it install. It will not take much longer. Let's wait for it. So now the flash is complete. So we go back to the home of home screen and we select the reboot option. So now it will reboot and if everything goes well, we will hopefully boot up into the system. So this boot animation can be longer because it's the first time the phone is booting the custom ROM. So you need to give it a few minutes and I have filmed the whole good animation just that so I can give you the idea of how long it can be but if you wish you can click on the button right here that I provide it will skip the boot animation it will skip the video to the part where the boot animation is complete so if you wish you can click there to skip it otherwise you can see the whole time if you wish to get the idea of how long it can be so yep, let's just wait for it to boot up. It might take up two, three, even four or five minutes, but not more than that, I guess. If it uh, if it happens so that you face a boot longer than five minutes, then it might be a boot loop. So this is a condition where I guess you need to check that you have followed each and every step correctly. If not so, then you have to properly do everything again. So make sure you do everything 
correctly and yep let's just wait for it to finish And now the boot is complete, so it'll give you the home screen. Now you don't have to phone use the phone right now if you wish you can. Otherwise, just power off because now we need to flash the G apps on the phone because without that the custom room is incomplete. So what we do is we power off the device and we again go to the custom recovery CWM recovery and. To do that, again do the same thing, while you see the Sony logo, keep pressing the volume up key repeatedly and hopefully it will land up into clockwork mode recovery again. This time we don't have to do any kind of wipe, so we go to the install zip option straight away and select it, now we select a file from SD card and this time instead of the custom ROM what we have to do is we have to select the gapps package. So it's just select it and it'll ask for confirmation, just do a yes and it shall install the G apps on your phone. So now the G apps have been installed so we can go back to the home and select the reboot option yet again. So now this time the boot will not take that long. It will be much more smaller than it was previously because this is the second time but yet again we have flashed something so it might take a slight bit longer than the usual routes but yeah not much difference so let's just wait for the phone to boot up and yep So now the boot is complete and the Android is upgrading. Uh, it will optimize the applications, the G apps that have been flashed with the package. So let the Android optimize the applications. This is just a one time procedure. After that, it will not give you this message again and again. This is for the first time that it's loading the applications and making it all fine so that they can run properly. 
so yeah just give it a few seconds or maybe a few minutes and let it optimize all the applications that you have just flashed on your device And the Android upgrading is complete so it will just finish the boot and we will be seeing our home screen in a few seconds yep so this is a lock screen um, okay it's a bit laggy in the starting because we have just started using it just it will be smooth as you start using it more I mean not really you have to start more it will be just smooth by the time it's completely booted up so yep let's just go through it quickly and see what's new okay so we cannot swipe to get to the application thing and you can reorder tiles directly from here by clicking on that option and you can rearrange them if you wish so this is a nice thing but if you cannot swipe to get the notification or quick setting thing that's something that's missing and you have the audio updater um, what else let's take out settings so that we can make sure that we have the latest Android oh it's not 4.4.3 it's 4.4.2 but anyways there's no much difference so yep that's all with this custom room guys thanks for watching see you in the next one